Hi, I'm Michael, and thank you for watching Aquarium Tech. Uh, today, to add to the uh, you know the lighting series that I'm going to go ahead and start, um, I was going to go ahead and start off with the incandescent bulb and talk a little bit about that. Um, uh, but first off, just to tell you, um, I, I know you might not understand some of the parameters that I'll get into, but I will make videos on that too. Um, Anyways, um, I couldn't find much information on the uh, incandescent bulb anyways. Like, I can't find a, too much of a PAR spectrum on it and stuff like that. Um, uh, it, it just doesn't seem to, uh, to, to be there, but of course I have an estimate, you know, just by comparing. You know, I don't have the actual tools to kind of measure something like that, which is, you know, you have to be some kind of scientist, so. Um, but anyways, um... Of course, you probably know that incandescent bulbs, uh, here, I have one right here, have some right here. These are like your standard bulbs that you probably have in your house, like in your ceiling fan and stuff like that. Um, you know, they have, their, it's a tug, it's a tungsten uh, loop, and basically it gets electricity ran through, it heats up and lights up right. Um, of course, and you know, these definitely don't, these are probably the shortest lasting bulbs in aquatics, in fact they are. They're also the dull, probably the dullest bulbs in aquatics, um, and they they're definitely the most or least energy efficient, um, and they definitely produce a lot of heat. Um, in fact, on this fixture right here, you can't even pick it up after I've had it on for a few hours. So, uh, but it's the, the the reason they actually work is that they actually do have some bit of useful light, which is part of in the, you know the spectrum and the power. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not sure. I'd probably guess that they are somewhere around, you know, just below maybe the PAR spike, you know, probably around 4,000. Well, what would be equal to like a 4,000K fluorescent bulb or something, maybe 3,000, you know, a little lower, possibly. I'm not sure, but, it, you know, you, you can look at the color and tell it is somewhat similar to daylight. So there is some useful light for it there. Um, but it just, it just doesn't have a lot of lumens, uh, and, and it uses a lot of energy and whatnot. Um, so, so I really don't like them. They're not, they're, they're definitely not a good way, you know, you know, a good thing for, to use on your tank. Um, but I do, th there is a trick you can do without having to go buy a whole nother, uh, lighting setup. And I'll show you right here is, now these are very similar to power compacts, but they are just, you know, they're actually, I believe they're called self ballot self ballasting bulbs okay um it's basically as you can see here it's got a regular screw in type so you can just screw it right into the incandescent setup you had and it makes things a whole lot easier and it's it's so it just makes it so much easier to grow plants and stuff like that um and it makes your tank look a whole lot better um now generally uh, these are around the same power output, you know, same watt, uh, lumen output per watt as a uh, T5 bulb, I think, which is generally around 60 to uh, like 70 or something like that, you know, lumens per uh, watt. Uh, and generally you'll find these around 10 to 20 watts. Now these particular ones are 10 watts, because um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm, why that's important. I'll do a little demonstration here. But... Um, uh, they, they have more useful light energy. Most of them, at least around here, I, I, I didn't really look on the internet, but you might be able to find them on there. But in the stores around here, uh, they're pretty much 50-50, which means there's actually two kinds of lights in here. As you can see, there's two strips on here. And, and each one is a different color temperature, which I'll also do a show on, which is very important, um, you know, when it comes to useful light and stuff like that for plants. But generally... Just so you know for your information for further usage, um, one of these is going to be an actinic bulb, um, which gives it that blue tint, and that's usually around uh, 50,000 K Kelvin uh, for the color temperature, and 10,000 K, uh, you know, color temperature. Which, the 10,000 K is alright, it's pretty decent for plants, you know, in the usual plant spike. And this is okay for, uh, the actinic's okay for deeper plants and reefs, but, uh, 
Uh, you know, it's, it's not like the best, but it's definitely going to be better than incandescence. Um, uh, but uh, th this is a pretty good bulb that penetrate deep down in there. That, that's what you use the higher. I'll get into that in a later show. Uh, but that's good for penetrating, you know. Uh, deeper waters, the higher the color temperature in general. Um, and like I was saying, the useful energy, the 10K is a lot better for plants. And of course they can use some of the 50K. And and because there's actually a few spikes on the par scale. And like I said, once again, I'll do another show on that so you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, but let me go ahead and I'll do a little demonstration here to show you what I'm talking about. Now, most of these are going to be around 15 to 25 watt uh, setups per bulb. Like if you see here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Where is it? Right here, there's a little stamp in here that says 25 uh, max bulb wattage. Basically, that means you know the the, the most wattage you can put per bulb in your fixture is 25 watts. Now that might be different for other fixtures, but this one in particular is 25 watt. So you don't want to put anything higher than a 25 watt. But, and, and that goes for any light. Now let me show you something. These incandescents in here are 25 watt. And like I said, these are only 10 watt, okay? So these are two, these use two and a half times the amount of power as this. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay? I mean, it's not like it's not, it doesn't produce light, but, I mean, it's not all that great. Now, let me show you how much the difference here. I'm going to unscrew these. Now, the only reason I'm using 10 watt here is I happen to ha just get, you know, get them for free. But, if you can, find the 20 watts and use them, like, uh, I would definitely suggest finding the highest wattage of these you can and putting them in because you should rarely have to replace these. You know, like these you might have to replace quite often, but these you should rarely ever have to replace. So you want to get the highest wattage you can. Now, ooh, you see that? Look at the difference in lumens. If if you can tell, that's nuts. I mean, and, and this is this is only using like uh, what, what's that? Two and a half times less power. So, and, and there's much 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 less heat coming off of this. And you can leave this on for much longer. It's just a way more efficient way to go. And it, in the end, it'll be cheaper. And like I said, much more useful light. Um, and of course, like I said, once again, I said it can penetrate deeper waters. Of course, this you're going to find most of these on smaller tanks, so you won't have to worry about that. But, you know, it's just, some, just something to know. All right? Um, and, and, they, and they will be a little bit more expensive than the incandescent bulbs. But, once again, like I said, you'll save money by not having to replace them as much. And your aquarium will look way better, you know, just from the light shining on it to the plants that are growing in it. Um, and I guess that, that's pretty much about it. But And just like I said, remember, don't go over the max watts on, right, they, they usually have the sticker in here or somewhere on the box per bulb um, for your fixture, all right? Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, Go ahead and just mail, you know, PM me or uh, email me. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in.